my dream was to become not only a doctor, because that wasn't enough, I wanted to be a surgeon. Well, I cut dresses instead. The next aspiration thing that I wanted to be was an architect. Uh, it was a dream, it never came true, but I think that it shows the foundation and the base and the, how do I say that, the strength of our clothes, my clothes, are really coming from a knowledge of construction. I would say that when you build a house, you have to put something that's nice on the bottom so it stays up. See this dress in the lame here? I made it for me and I, I wore it in 1943 for the opening of Billy Rose's um, new Follies and it was very chic. My brother was my escort. You know, I go on the show and we do the retrospective. And when I do, I show this dress, which is like a long, long sweater. And everybody said, please, Pauline, make it again. I wish I could. Isn't that beautiful? This, of course, is one of my little favorite babies. Oh, 1977. It's entirely embroidered, and it's in Jersey. Sometimes I wear it when I go on a diet for two days. So I started in 1942, and friends of ours, my brother and I, gave us some pieces of fabric. I had 11 pieces of fabric, and I made 11 dresses. And it was very tough because I, I was in a very small little building where at 5 o'clock they shut the heat. It was freezing cold. I cut my first 100 dresses myself, wrapped my feet in newspaper to be warm, and the rest, as they say, is history. This was made in 1950. I remember Ben Zuckerman, the great coat maker, and Vincent Montesano told me, Pauline, you're crazy. That coat probably takes six yards. How do you expect to sell it? It took six yards, and we sold it because it was new and it was fabulous. Betty, do you think you'd get the coat that was designed for breakfast at Tiffany's? Which? If you asked me about that coat again, and if she asked me about it, it was given to Tiffany's. It was given to the museum. The museum. And you cannot get those things back without a big fight with them. I know. That's all right. Be still so you can look pretty. Since I don't sketch, I'm doing, this is my way of sketching. Instead of putting them on a piece of paper and erasing it, I'm doing this then, and then he will take it and make the other side, and I think it looks pretty good. And for me, this is my way of doing my sketching, since I don't do it on paper. It takes time, and it's patience, patience, fortitude, but lots of patience. Remember, when you feel blue, wear red. <laughs> 